I've come up here to the computer to show you the best way to make one of these diagrams. You can use RR Track, which is a very popular program. I'm using CADVANCE because I've learned to use that over the years. But in any case, you make a representative drawing of the diagram like this and then print it out on your printer at the biggest image possible. Here's our finished product. And here's my control panel that I'm going to put this on. You can take this image to Kinko's. Kinko's can alter the size of this print to whatever the design size is for your control panel. They can enlarge it vertically or horizontally to match whatever size you need for the finished control panel. Once they have printed the final size image, have them laminate it so that you can glue that lamination right to your control panel. And that's what we're going to do now. All right, well, I've painted uh, the masonite board with a nice flat black. We're going to take our finished Kinko's product, our laminated print. We're going to mount it right on the board. And I've left just enough edge around there that we can mask off, and it'll give us, give us a nice trim. So just get some masking tape and put the masking tape just a little bit higher than the graphic is going to need because the graphic is going to have some of that glue on the back of it and we don't want it to ooze out of the edge. Okay, finishes our masking job. Now we'll remove that. So this is the area that's going to get the glue sprayed. So let's lift this up and get some newspaper underneath. And the reason we didn't put paper underneath to begin with is because the paper is, it's tough to put the masking tape down when you've got newspaper laying all over. We'll get that spread out. There we go. We're going to use 3M Super 77. This is a, a spray rubber cement glue, and it does a real good job of adhering surface material, such as what we're going to do here. We're going to put a nice coating all over our masked area. And if it gets these little bubbles in it, that's okay too, just so long as they don't get great big ones. If you get great big ones, just take your thumb or finger and smooth them out before you put the, the print on top. Okay. Now we'll take our masking tape off. And we'll take our graphic. And you only get one shot at this, so you got to get it centered before you touch down with it. That looks pretty good. We'll just iron it on like that. Let's lift it up and get it off of our yucky paper here. And that's how you mount the graphic directly on the masonite. So now what we have to do is make the holes for all the hardware and all the LEDs that we're going to put on this control panel. To mount this hardware in the control panel, it's going to be a two-step process. Because we have this big, thick plastic laminate, we have to punch holes in that before we drill. If you just use a drill, it's, it'll tear up the plastic laminate and ruin your whole display. So I've gone to craft stores, or some hardware stores have these. These are hole punches. They're hollow through to here so that you can get whatever material you punch back out of the hole punch. The LEDs, in my case, if you're using a 5 millimeter LED, use a 3 16 hole punch. This is a quarter inch for mini toggles and 5 16 for mini push buttons. Okay, if a toggle switch is going to be at every location where there is a track switch, then that means we can select any point where the drawing has two lines merged together, and that will be where I want to control the track switch. So just put it down there, and you remove it, and the hole is ready for you to drill. Let's do a couple of other ones. All right. 
If it does that, just go back and punch it again until it comes out all the way. Now, let's suppose we're going to put an LED to indicate where a siding starts and stops. Okay, if we want a red LED here, then we'll just pop one there. And then an occupied siding will have a yellow LED here. Then one on the far end to indicate that we're not fouling the main. Right here. And you just continue that process until you have every LED and every toggle switch located on the control panel. If at every siding you have a push button to control an uncoupling track, then you want to put that up close to the switch right here. Next we need to drill our holes, so we're going to raise this up so we don't damage the surface of the table underneath. But we're going to do one other thing in addition to raising up the panel. We're going to put a nice large backing board behind the hole because doing that eliminates how much of the back of the masonite panel breaks out and how much you have to clean up later. Okay, we've got our 7 seconds bit in for the 5 millimeter LED. Let's just drill this one out. Okay. Very good. Now we'll go through and drill all the holes for all the hardware, the switches, the toggles, the LEDs, before we mount anything. Because you need to get them all drilled and then start mounting all the hardware up. Now when you drill a hole, drill until you see chips of wood start coming up out of the hole and that tells you that you're all the way through the masonite. There we go. There's our wood right there so we know we're through. Alright, well we've got our holes drilled, but even with using these backing boards, the masonite will break out on the back a little bit, so take an X-Acto knife with a spade type blade on it, chisel blade, and just go over the edge chaff like that to get it cleaned off. Everything will fit better if you do that. The LEDs, all the switches will all go in much better. Scrape it a little bit. There we go. Now we're ready to mount the components. Now when you're all done with this project, that's what your control panel will look like. But look, I've got a few spots and things on here where I had some glue on my fingers. That's not a problem. The beauty of this lamination is you can get some thinner on a rag and wipe your whole panel and get it nice and clean. That's why you laminated it. So it'll always hold up. Now obviously we've mounted just a handful of components for this video, but once your control panel is all finished, you take it right into your layout and mount it right on the frame that you've provided.